Are we going? All right. Okay. So this is a little video about the first bass line I ever learned. It's uh, by Mike Watt from this great EP by the Minutemen called What Makes a Man Start Fires. This is the actual EP from 1982. And uh, it's funny, uh, I learned this up in my room uh, when I was a kid. And now I'm in my son's room where he learns bass lines. Pretty cool. So we have our turntable here. The song is called Fake Contest. And I'm going to go ahead and play it. Here we go, starts off with George Hurley, the drummer. Zoom in on the record. tip is uh, when you're learning songs, the most important thing to do is to listen to them. Listen, listen, listen. You can also try to hum the bass part when you're learning it, but one of the cool things about this bass part is that it's super simple and built into it are some great fundamentals of bass playing even though it's so simple. So Mike Watt and Dee Boone uh, played string instruments in the Minutemen. Um, and they were like brothers. They were buddies and they always, it's like they were one person playing music. The drummer is George Hurley and that, that track starts with the drums. But this is pretty simple because uh, the, the song is in A minor, uh, which is an easy key to look at on the musical staff because there are no sharps or flats, right? It's the same notes as the key of C. And I'm playing with a pick because in the early Minutemen, uh, Mike Watt played with a pick. On this record he does a little bit of fingers too. So all of the notes are the same only they, they're in a different order starting in A. So it's A minor. That's the one chord in A minor. There are only two chords in this song. It was really common in punk to only have two chords. A and F. Now F is the sixth chord. So the, the one chord is a, is a minor chord. One, three, five. And the sixth chord is a major chord. And Watt pretty much plays roots and fifths on all of these. It goes. part of the song, he's playing the exact same chords and the exact same notes, instead of playing a regular root fifth, he inverts it, inverts it. So basically he's doing instead of So he goes. 
only other variations are at the beginning when he starts off, he's got a really high A that he, he trills down from. And then the only other thing that he does at the end is uh, uh, these little ham uh, pull offs. So right in there, a whole bunch of music theory, two chords, punk song, with uh, roots and fifths. Oh, and the other thing before I do this, one of the cool things is he that inverted root fifth, he does that on different parts of the song when D. Boone is soloing to make it sound like there's a, it's a totally different part, even though it's the exact same chords, it makes it sound like it's different. Amazing punk bassists, a very important guy. Check him out. All right.